everyone, Dave here from Australian Precision. Uh, today we're going to just uh, take a look at our wireless target camera system. We're going to open up the box, have a look at the components, and just go through some basic setup instructions. Uh, now, for those of you who don't have a great deal of IT experience, it's all pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, if you've ever fired up a laptop computer and joined a wireless network, that's pretty much as hard as it is to get connected to, uh, to, to the device here. So we'll just uh, cut to the next step, which will be opening the box up and going through the individual component list. Okay, so we've opened up the hard case, uh, and you'll see inside the box is only a few components here. Now, this particular setup uh, comes with all the extra bells and whistles. You can customize the system to have whichever components you want, upgraded antennas, battery charger, better batteries, um, but pretty much this is uh, the premium package. Um, so if we have a look here, we've got a high quality charger with the, uh, with the Panasonic Eneloop Pro batteries. They're rated at 2600 milliamp hours and will roughly give you about four to four and a half hours of runtime with the camera system. Uh, you've got two sets of wireless dongles here, one of which will be plugged into your laptop computer so you can connect to the camera system. And then the other dongle is for the camera itself. And as you can see, not much to it, very small, not much bigger than a deck of playing cards. So first off, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll get the wireless antenna plugged in. So I'll just put that there. Screws in nice and easy. Plug that in at the top of the USB connector, like so. And now we'll insert the batteries. So we just need a push to slide up the cover. And then we'll just grab one battery at a time. Fiddly. And then the second that we put the final battery in, that's when the unit will turn on. Uh, there is no power switch on this prototype unit at the moment, uh, but that's something that will come eventually. But once all those batteries are plugged in, the system will take a little while for it to boot up. And when it boots up, you'll see a red indicator light light up right about here. While that's powering up, what we might do is, I'll just show you the underneath of it. There is a mounting uh, nut there, which you can screw in a small bipod, which will screw in like so. It'll also accept uh, any sort of uh, standard camera tripod mount. And that all opens up and locks in place. Now the camera system is active and switched on with the indicator light. What we need to do, we need to now position the camera so it's looking at our target. Um, typically you'll need to adjust the camera's uh, tripod or stand uh, to make sure it's pointing at the center. Now that can be a little bit tricky if you can't actually view anything on screen. So instead of taking a laptop out there and running the software and having a look at the video stream there, what we can do instead is we can just use our mobile phone uh, to connect to the camera and view the live stream so that we can set up the positioning correctly, uh, which we'll go to the next step and show you how to do that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to use our mobile phone to connect to the camera so that we can actually view the live stream on our phone and set up the position of the camera pointing at the target correctly. Um, the process that we're going to go through is on a Microsoft Windows phone, but a similar sort of process for Android and iPhone um, is almost identical. So we we'll want to go into your phone settings, then want to go to Wi-Fi or wireless networks, and we need to find the wireless network called TS Camera. And when we click on that, it'll ask us for a password. Now the default password is TSPAS2000. Then we'll hit done, and it will connect. Okay, and now we're connected. So we'll go back to our home screen and we'll open up a browser window and we'll punch in the camera's address of 
http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.1 with, uh, with the port being 8080. So as long as you've got that identical, then hit enter and it will take you to the live video stream. Now what we can do is we can rotate that so we get the full picture and then what we'll need to do is we'll need to adjust the camera accordingly so it's directly on center of the target. Now we might want to move it back out a little bit so I can get a bit of a view of what's in and around. Go back a little bit more forward angle it down a little bit and then we're pretty much done. So then we can go back to our bench where we're going to be potentially shooting from uh, but this is just a classroom example so there's no firearms being used um, but that's how easy it is to view the stream on your mobile phone. So the next step that we'll go through is firing up your laptop computer, plugging in the Wi-Fi dongle and running the software. Now that we've got the camera set up and pointed at the target correctly, the final step is getting the laptop computer, talking to the camera system and running the application. Now you'll notice there's a white little Wi-Fi dongle uh, that's supplied by us that just plugs into your spare USB port and we're going to use that Wi-Fi dongle to connect to the camera system now. So what we need to do, we need to click here to bring up a list of the wireless networks and what you'll see now is that there's a drop down list there which shows two different Wi-Fi devices. Now the top one there is the internal Wi-Fi card and the bottom one there is our external plugged in Wi-Fi device. What we want to do um, first is to disable the onboard Wi-Fi because it may prevent problems with connecting to the camera. So we'll go into network settings and we'll just simply flick the top Wi-Fi off which leaves the second Wi-Fi on and we'll close that window go back down here look for the camera's network called TS Camera click there click connect and then we'll punch in the password being TSPAS2000 then hit next and we can just say yes uh, to make it dis discoverable on the network. It doesn't really matter because it's a private network and not connected to the internet. So I'll just click yes anyway. That'll take a few seconds to pair up. And when you see the green flashing light on the Wi-Fi dongle, that pretty much means it's good to go. And then we can go back to our desktop here and launch the uh, Oz Precision application. It's a pretty basic menu at the moment. Um, you won't have to worry about going into settings, ammunition or firearms at the moment. Uh, the software is still in development uh, but we'll just click here which allows us to bring up the camera stream. Click here and then it connects to the camera. And now we're in the main window for viewing the camera and uh, as you can see there's a whole bunch of options and things that you can do uh, but what we'll do is we'll have a separate video on the operation of the software and all the features and um, how to use it properly uh, automatic detection settings uh, centering the the crosshairs on the target adjusting for MOA size uh, and all that kind of stuff so stay tuned for the next video uh, but until then I hope this has uh, made things helpful for setting up the wireless target camera system and happy and safe shooting out in the field.